Hi guys, how's it going? Today I want to speak about a subject of would you edit your jeans? Well, the thing is, is that, well, we have a lot of things that are given to us from our, our ancestors uh, biologically and that we can't really change in some way because um, it's just predisposed in our biology from our parents. And we all have uh, illnesses that we're more prone to getting, be it just coronary heart disease, be it bad uh, fat, bad, uh, bad cholesterol, I mean. Or it could be the fact that maybe we have bad, poor eyesight and different things. So I'm not even talking about stuff such as, um, you know, changing the color of your eyes and stuff like that. I'm talking, first of all, changing your genes according to the fact that you could make yourself healthier and I think that if you could if we really could get to that point that would be amazing now I have a hard time believing that we are able to change our genes once we are actually already born in some way because well, our biology is our biology and we can probably alter some things to a certain point but altering things uh, is probably much easier if you could um, change the DNA um, uh, before we're born you know on the microcellular level and all that stuff but in a science fiction world where you're basically able to um, change and alter whatever you want in order to make yourself stronger to all of these things would be wonderful and in some way a vaccine is kind of like a thing that is altering you in some way because it could make you more resistant to certain things obviously it's not really changing your your genes but at the same time I feel that we do it all the time in some way we do it even, for example, if um, we are just eating more healthy and we're trying to uh, just make our heart pump better, make our just general life better, it is kind of like altering ourselves. So if we can actually go even deeper and make ourselves even healthier, then that would be amazing. Now, of course, this kind of technology could be used in a bad way where we're either making people more prone to certain things uh, or altering them so that they have less intelligence and they'd be more prone to being more submissive and stuff like that. So there's, there's always like the bad within the good. But I must say that All technologies, even GMOs and all these things, if they are used properly, they can always be beneficial. But if they're in the wrong hands, there's always going to be that flip side. So anything that's good is always bad and everything that's bad is always good. It's just that it depends on how it's being used, who is using it, what's the purpose of using it. But there's no straight like, yeah, no, I can't modify or I won't modify my gene because if you could put something in your body that basically made you heal faster or made you smarter or made you live longer, I think most people would actually do it. But then the moment that there's someone who gets hurt and then there's someone that uh, uses it in a bad way, then that's when people start screaming that it's horrible. But, you know, it's like everything. Nothing's black or white in life. Everything's kind of gray. It just depends how it's used. So that's it. That's off to sound subject. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.